Hey guys, it's Greg from Teddy Killers. Today we're gonna show you the project of Negative Thoughts, our tune released on Eight Brain this year. Um, this is gonna be a series of three videos uh, dedicated to the drums, bass, and effects master and everything else. So today we're gonna have a look into the drums. Now let's check the tune. So as you can see, we have a um, few color marks, colored groups of tracks. Uh, the yellow one is the bass sounds coming to the bass group in the end. Then the green one is for some extra synths, bass sounds and some extra stuff. And it's also coming to separate bus channel for processing and so on. The blue one um, is uh, uh, drum tracks. So there is a kick, snares, layers, and so on. And there is also um, a hi hats, but they're coming to separate group for separate processing. And the last one, the orange one, is a fix, uh, different textures and effects. So just the rest of the stuff. So let's check the drum group, how it sounds together. And let's check a little bit more in the drop. And this is how kick and snare sounds together. So kick sounds, um, I have to say that most of them, uh, or all of them are sampled in this version because it's kind of like a final version and working with samples is much more comfortable for us. Um, some of them were made in serum, some of them were made with addictive drums in serum, some of them are coming from some sample packs. So here kick consists of three layers. Let's check the first one. This is already processed sound. We have a Convology reverb here, it's actually a free plugin, quite nice, and some equalization. Let's switch them off and check original sound. Then there is this uh, Convology XT uh, free convolution reverb with some, we use some presets, which gives this nice space to the drum. Then the second layer, um, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's more kind of synthetic one. You have to just take the necessary frequency range here, just cut everything below. And there is also Neutron for 
slight transient shaping. The weird choice, do you know why we used it? And together they sound like this. So together they give uh, this nice room feeling, some ride kind of thing, and uh, attack for our kick. Uh, let's check it without EQ. So the third layer is actual body of our kick made in serum. So this is a pretty much basic uh, standard uh, serum kick, uh, like the one we showed you in one of the previous tutorials about making drums in serum. Um, it's just sine wave and noise. Uh, in one of our producer packs we give on Patreon, there was a preset for Serum Kick, so you can use it as a start point to get pretty much the same sound, just set up your pitch and stuff. And this is how all three layers sound together. Now our kick has nice attack, uh, nice room, nice body and sound full and solid. And we come into snare. And again it's a standard uh, serum snare. Uh, we showed you in one of the tutorials how to make it. There is a little EQ here to cut in low and a bit of mid-high frequency range because it was too crazy, so we did a little cut here. I specifically didn't like this range. Uh, this way it sounds much better. Next layer is uh, snare roll we use in the middle of the drop. We don't need it now, let's move it to the end. So the second layer is uh, this kind of roomish layer. Originally it is not uh, a snare. And actually it's originally not a snare. Let's have a listen without EQ. It was some dubstep bass sound we pitched 12 semitones up. Let's have a look. So we used some shaping to give it a bit of attack and the shape of snare. Then we filtered all unnecessary frequencies and used Convology Reverb to give this room reverb. Without effect it sounded like this. And after a bit of processing So let's see how they sound together now. So the next one uh, is uh, a snare from some old school hip hop sample pack. It gives us this uh, tail and a bit of body. It has no attack, as you can see. And the next one actually pretty much the same. Sampled from some old school hip hop sample pack and uh, gives us a tail and more, more, more space. You can't really hear them uh, 
when the whole thing playing together, but they give this nice character and nice tail to the whole snare sound. And the last layer of snare is uh, some attacking noise made in serum. So all layers of snare sound like this. And the last piece is a tiny snare roll used here and there. I'm not sure how it was made, but it, it sounds like addictive drums. So all kicks and snares um, coming to separate bus channel where we are making some extra processing. Not much this time, just a compressor. In this case we just wanted to glue kick and snare together a little bit with Pro C2. We used one of standard drums presets called Big Smack um, and just adjusted attack and release according to our needs. Let's compare. So as you can hear, it just brings reverb a bit up, uh, sustain of snares a bit, make everything punchy and nicer, smoother. What's next? Um, okay, it's snares in the intro. It's the same snare, attack and noise. There is some outer pen uh, and reverb. So together it sounds like an effect. Here is some reverb, then outer pen, uh, let it jump around, and EQ is just like filtering all unnecessary things. Next element is kind of like industrial heavily reverbed snare. And uh, here is like a massive reverb, making it really dark. Without reverb, but just like ordinary snare. So the next sound, um, Oh, it just appears twice in the mix. <laughs> um, it's just super tiny snare. It seems more like a little tiny percussion. Let's check how it sounds. So all these snares go directly to the master, not to the group. And the next one is the hi-hats. It's just regular, some hi-hat sample, nothing special. 
and they go separately to the hi-hat group. Not using, but we have these two plugins from Melda, Ring Modulator and Frequency Shifter. We use them quite often on heads, they give really nice effects. Depending on situation, now we are not using it, but check it out. So, Modulator has this depth uh, knob, uh, which gives this um, crisp, like some distortion to hi-hats, make them a little bit crispy and nicer, smoother. And the frequency shifter gives this uh, flanger effect. Also can be nice on the hi-hats. Like not necessary elements, but it's a good thing to check them on a high heads depending on the situation. It can give your heads like really nice touch. So strongly recommending them. And again, just like almost on every element, there is some EQ cleaning all unnecessary frequencies. And we are coming to write. It's just regular write. Um, taken from some sample pack and um, just gives the overall movement and feeling to the beat. Not much processing, just EQ. So the next one is uh, percussion. It's um, tambourine mixed with a hi-hat, just some loop. There is a cool trick in Ableton, so if you go to this menu here, you can do like an accent on a hi-hat, on a transient, sorry, and make it sound more like hats. Unfortunately, you can't do automatization on this parameter, but it would be cool. If anyone from Ableton team watching it, please do it. Okay, so next one is this tiny right thing, just, you know, to do, create a bit of tension before this tambourine part starts. And the um, next one is this uh, percussion loop we used in a build-up and in a drop. To give even more intensity and dynamics. Then the solo percussion is following here. Just you know, as a rhythmic element. It's not used too much, but just gives this nice feel. And another percussion here. <laughs> Okay, that layers were pretty straightforward. This one is a bit more interesting. It's addictive drums.
used for intro and a drop. It's called uh, session percussion. So I just picked up some instruments here and then I used the drum bus. Let's compare it uh, playing with drum bus and without. So the drum bus gives us really cool um, distortion mixed with compression. It's quite unique and cool instrument we use a lot lately. Then there is some EQ just to cut all low and no unnecessary stuff. And the last uh, section is addictive drums for some rides. Um, We tried drum, bus and different stuff, but we chose the uh, Federator from Kilohertz. As you can see, there is some drive and fuzz slightly mixed with the original signal. And there is also some equalization to cut all rubbish. Okay, and here is some tiny little thing here. Okay, just some small percussion from some loop. Let's check the whole thing. So we generally use these tiny things there and here just to give a little, you know, more details, a little more character to the whole thing. You may not notice it even when you first listen to the tune, but all these small tiny details, they make an you know, old tune full and rich melodically, sound-wise, elements-wise, and so on. So let's check out um, the head and percussion group playing together. and without processing. So what we've added is for Filter Saturn. Um, like doing parallel distortion, not 100% wet, and then some EQing to cut the low end unnecessary which can happen and then there is a uh, compression with the sidechain signal coming into the whole group and let's check all drums together okay guys that's all for this time thanks for watching and next time we're gonna have a look into the bass group and all bass sounds used in negative thoughts peace <laughs>